Before we get off the subject of Elizabeth Taylor and her relationship profile, I also wanted to talk about this conjunction between Venus and Uranus in her chart. Very close together, only five minutes apart. That right there symbolizes someone who is not stable in terms of relationships. Basically, they find it extremely difficult to be in a long-term relationship. Marriages will probably uh, last not longer than three years. I'm going to have to look into her situation more to see how long she was actually married or the longest she was married. So uh, that's very poignant right there. Venus conjunct Uranus only five minutes apart in the fourth house, which means that this is deeply ingrained in her. And most likely this shows that there was a great deal of instability in her childhood. So I'm going to do some studying up on Elizabeth Taylor, especially her background, to see why she was so geared to be so flexible. <laughs> Actually, you know, she wanted variety in her life, and that really showed through her marriage situation. So that's just Elizabeth Taylor. One more other thing, Pisces is intercepted in her third house. Intercepted means that the sign is totally inside a house, and then you have two different signs bordering that sign. So whenever you see a sign that's intercepted, such as this Pisces right here, that's very significant, and usually that is that deals with a concentration of the energy of that sign in that particular house. I have Pisces intercepted as well, but it's in my second house. So that's very interesting and unique about Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, most people thought that she was one of the most beautiful women on the planet. And that all that Pisces influence points to that. Even with the Venus conjunct Uranus can point to having a unique beauty. And she did have violet eyes, which is very unique.